Okay, this is going to be a quick walkthrough of Market Muse, a review of it, tutorial on how we use it, and the results that we achieve by using it within the uh, business systems of Content Refined. So, Market Muse is a tool that uses a, a handful of technologies. Primarily, the, the way that they promote it is uh, artificial intelligence to monitor the rankings of Google and identify uh, with predictive ability what an article should be covering in order to rank higher in Google. So given a certain keyword, what should it cover so that it covers that topic completely and will rank higher in Google. So we're going to talk about how we use it, walking through the system that we use, and then the case study results that we were able to achieve by using it. So let's dig into Market Muse first. So if we go to Market Muse, the way that we primarily use it is the optimize tool and the compete tool. Now this is a little bit like uh, Kind of, yeah. It's it's uh, we're we're definitely under optimizing the total um, ability of what we can do with this tool. There are a handful of other um, pieces into the tool that are very powerful. Um, content plans, the inventory, identifying gaps. Uh, it's you know one of its one of Market Muse's strengths is the ability to create the map of the content that you're covering and then identify those gaps compared to your competitors. Um, we don't use it for that because of the scale that we're using it at for all of our, our customers within Content Refined. Um, so we use it heavily for the optimize tool and the, uh, the compete in questions to help identify the length of the article that we should be targeting, the topics that should be covered and the questions that should be answered and then providing that to our writers along with an outline um, results in an article that uh, has a predictive ability to rank well in Google. So we're going to put in content writing versus content marketing. Enter the URL that we're using for this sort of quick example of how would we run through this if we were trying to optimize for it. And so while, while this is uh, running through and, and we're waiting, I'll talk a little bit about um, kind of the pros and cons of, of Market Muse. Um, certainly the con that jumps out first is the price point. This is a sort of five figure a year kind of uh, pricing, very, very expensive tool. Um, however, it is very user friendly and very effective. So the output of you know leveraging leveraging this tool to put in a piece of content say what changes do we need to make to help it rank better and what is our target word cap is extremely easy to do and and something that we've uh, we've been doing for a couple of years and continue to to push almost all content that flows through content refined in my own portfolio through market muse um, some of the other kind of benefits of of Market Muse is that it, 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 there's sort of the correlation SEO tool, Surfer SEO, Quora, Page Optimizer Pro that look at the top 10 pages on Google and say, what should your article look like to be similar to those? Um, the sort of challenge that I have with those tools is that it's always a very, um, you can always, you can, the best you can do is tie for first. And so it's hard to sort of beat your competition when you're just trying to match your competition. Whereas Market Muse gives you the ability to say, if you want to go out and crush your competition, where, what do you need to do to be the best? Um, so what's who's the, who's right now the best in terms of the content score and the word count? And if you can go and beat them, you know that that can get pretty exciting. So this article has some opportunity for improvement. Clearly, we're sitting at a content score of 17. Um, target score of 36. Clearly we have missed the mark on some sections of this article, which isn't surprising since the, the, uh, the, the topic of this was to sort of focus around a sort of a personal rant versus a, a keyword generated piece of content um, or keyword focused piece of content. And so here we get you know pretty handy uh, colored graph to show which of our pieces need uh, which keywords are missing and usually it's a great indicator of oh we totally missed a certain part of the topic like you can see here uh, social media has been mentioned a few times social 
and you know good good idea that social media i i know for a fact because i wrote this article that nothing about social media got mentioned clearly that's part of the topic that should be talked about when it comes to content writing versus content marketing and it did not get covered at all so a section that would need to be added clearly that would help us bring up bring up this score one of the other cool features is we can look at this uh, compete side so we can see who on here is similar to us that was able to rank in the top 10 and what did they need to do so if you know some of these guys are a little bit bigger um, but if we can see hey I know this URL I know we have beat it for other keywords then here's what they here's the score that they need to achieve and the word count that they need to achieve and that gives us a great benchmark to try and aim at for us to sort of efficiently get into that top 10 so that is uh, is how we primarily use market muse we'll then export this result uh, and upload that either to the to the writer so we'll either run this empty with no URL get these results everything here will be zero we'll export that and send that off to the writer for them to uh, use in their article creation process or we'll run our own URL through it and identify the gaps that we need to be improving and so what were the uh, how, what were the results that we were able to achieve with market Muse in that case study that we did so we took three websites uh, three articles in each website and three tools so picture a uh, picture a matrix of um, for, for the case of market Muse upgrading one article on three different websites and what were the results and so over the course of, um, so this should actually say 80%. Um, so uh, over the course of the two weeks since we published, so we, we published the, the, chain, the upgraded articles on January 11th, and as of January 31st, uh, saw a nearly 80% increase in traffic um, with the service article, affiliate article saw significant growth, and the, the e-commerce article as well saw, saw solid growth. And so how did Market Muse compare to other tools? So some of the other tools that we compared it to, not exactly a completely fair fight. Uh, the price point on Surfer and Page Optimizer Pro is sort of in the typical kind of 100 or sub $100 a month range for an SEO tool. Market Muse is significantly more expensive, like I said, kind of in that five figure a year range. Um, it, it outperformed the other two. Page Optimizer Pro and Surfer had similar results with Market Muse outperforming the other two. So, uh, hope, hopefully, this gave a decent overview of how we use Market Muse, the results we were able to achieve, and who it is and isn't right for. So, thanks for watching the video.